All right, I've gone outside here in this case, and I have removed one of the, uh, the legs, or you can do both if you want, off of the contactor. And, or you could remove, them, remove one or both off the ones in the attic, the common and the yellow. And I come back up here with my meter on continuity, and I check from common, in this case, to Y. And this is assuming you don't have a tester. And if it beeps, then you know you have a short somewhere between here and there. If it doesn't beep, then you're good, and you might have an issue with the contactor. In this case, let's uh, simulate a... Well, that wire and fell off. That's beautiful. Well, good for the moment anyway. Let's simulate a, uh, a short somewhere in the wiring. And we'll come back up here. And now that I've just jumpered off, we'll come back up here and we'll test the continuity from common to yellow. And that tells me that I have a short somewhere between here and outside on my low voltage wiring. Okay. Now, I forgot to mention, when you're doing the testing, uh, especially like the condenser outside, just cut the power of the condenser outside so you're not having it cycle or anything. Uh, like I said, this is only hooked up at straight cool, but there's no reason why you can't use the same technique to test for a heat pump wiring as well. Same thing, you have your tester wired up, uh, you have your jumper up here, you're jumpering from, uh, you're jumpering from, from your power to your, your Y, your, your cool wiring, to see if you have a short. And, or, in this case, you could, if you're testing the reversing valve to see if that's where the short's at, you could test this, uh, the power to the orange, the reversing valve, to see if you have a short there, um, what's going on there. And if it's a reversing valve where you have a short and it's not in the line between here and there, sometimes it could be the board outside or you could have a, uh, a compromised coil on your reversing valve as well. There's other possibilities. Now, anyone else out there with good experience, feel free to jump in and, and comment on anything I'm, I'm missing here. But um, but it's I like to test a lot of times with the thermostat cover off, uh, especially on the newer ones. Um, I know myself and a couple of the other guys, we pulled our hair out testing around only to find out the actual thermostat was the issue. 99% of the time, it's not the thermostat. Uh, I've run across that. It's usually not the thermostat. Homeowners like to think it's a thermostat. It's not cooling. It's the thermostat. It's not cooling well. They turn it down. It's the thermostat. It, it, sometimes it is, but usually it's not. So anyway, that's some good uh, basic stuff there, and hopefully this will help a little bit. I'm trying to think of some other ideas to test, but... Uh, but I'm drawing a blank at the moment, so this is probably enough to upload and get a good start on it. Be safe, guys. Watch your, watch your high voltage stuff. Uh, keep your fingers clear when you're using these. If you're using them on, on free-floating wires like this, it doesn't hurt to throw a little piece of tape around the, the edges here or, or make sure they're off safely so you don't, you don't short it out anyway. And uh, be very careful of the high voltage and uh, just take care of yourselves. Anyway, hopefully this will help a little bit. Um, this is kind of a handy board. I might be able to come up with some other testing. And heat's kind of the same way, but heat wiring, um, if you have low voltage issues with the heat wiring and you're testing it, it could be any number of things. Gas furnace, um, you could have control board shorts, or it could be at the thermostat issue. Uh, electric air handlers, a lot of times if I have some sort of short on electric air handler on the heat call, then you would open it up and look at all the sequencers. And sometimes you'll have melted high voltage wiring on the sequencers and they'll fall down and hit the low voltage side. Or sometimes you'll see I've gone in and someone has just miswired something off season and it didn't find out till, till, till winter rolled around. Anyway, there we go. Hopefully uh, we'll get some good comments and some other ideas from the, some of the other guys. Maybe I misquoted something. Um, like I said, I didn't practice this. I'm just kind of winging it as we go. <laughs> uh, Y'all take care.